Hey everybody, Phantom Shadow here. Welcome back to more Disguise 3. Last time we finished Chapter 5 and we're heading into the next chapter. How could this be? For me to lose anyone other than my dad is impermissible! You did barely win against an enemy that didn't want to use her powers. <laughs> I want power. Power that won't lose to anyone! It's either I fix up my body into an invincible cyborg or a super alloy robot, but both will take too much time and effort. <sighs> Isn't there a way to simply level up instantly or something? Why are you always cheating? Every game requires a diligent and gradual level up process. But they also have cheat codes, like max out our levels instantly. What was it? Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right, BA, start. That's cheating! I'm all for cheating! I don't have time! I must stop the seniors from defeating my dad before I get to, no matter what! And I'm not the only one who has to worry about the time! You've got your own ticking clock to worry about! You're right. Let's cheat! Well, cheating is fine and dandy, but this isn't a game. It's real life. So how can we cheat? There is one method, a way for the young master to gain the power to defeat the Diaz, gentlemen. Mr. Jeffrey, you're alive? I thought you died earlier. Hmm. <laughs> I thought that might happen, so I wore a bulletproof vest. <laughs> then why did you have to act like that? You said I can beat the Diaz, gentlemen, so how do I do that? Yes. You must enter your heart once again. There you shall pull out your potential powers. Potential powers, huh? That thing heroes and allies of justice always have hidden up their sleeves, right? Directly tampering with a heart to find potential is the same as emphasizing the taste of using complementary spices. Indeed. Potential power is controlled by the subconscious heart. If we free them, Young Master's powers will be unleashed. Is it kind of like how getting rid of Hot Sauce Loving Mal made him hate Hot Sauce? That's how you drag out potential power? What about reviving from the brink of death or your best friend dying? No, just getting rid of subconsciouses will bring out his potential. But isn't it pretty dangerous to be using force against his heart? I thought you were against that. Well, it just means that situations have changed. I don't see a problem with it now. You have flexible morals, don't you? Though messing with the heart can be dangerous, it's not like you can take your sweet time leveling up. And by fighting alongside all of you, the young master's heart has matured. He should be fine, to a certain point. What? Don't say such horrifying things! What's gotten into you? I see. I'm somewhat relieved. At least your mouse heart has grown up a little bit. Looks like I've got to watch out. Next up, we need to bring out my potential powers, too. Stop talking already! We're going to the heart bank! Mouse heart is growing. I don't know if it's true or not, but it makes me happy. If by being with us, Mal's trauma was even slightly relieved, that's meaningful enough for me. Even if he hasn't opened his heart up yet, if we can slowly heal his scars, it'll still be nice. <laughs> it's a fickle thing, the subconscious. Make sure to release every single potential power now. I'm counting on you. Well then, I should be going. I must prepare for the Great Climax. Chapter 6, The Reckoning. I thought Jeffrey was dying, but he's up and perfectly fine now, dude. What kind of magic did he use? Not magic, it was a Kevlar vest. No, that was just his excuse. It was actually a miracle of recovery through Mao's power of love. Stop that, that's gross. That's a hero's power. Picked up this mask, dude. I wonder if somebody dropped it. 
guessing it's some heroes, but when you put it on, you just look like a weird psycho. I played the superhero game. He's really wonderful. A real delinquent role model. Superhero games, huh? I use those for examples too. But only play games for an hour a day. I'd have to follow that rule. Of course, don't sit, forget to sit away from the TV too. Finally see the greatness of the superhero. Besides, just being an enemy of the Overlord, he's handsome, clean, yeah, yeah, right, right. Lame. I need to beg and force the teacher to give us homework today. They need to change the rules about only giving a test at the end of the century. You meant the ultimately legendary DS, DS gentleman? They don't even exist. I made up that rumor 300 years ago. But one of them was real. Yes, yes, you've gotten better at lying. Evo Academy is proud to have honor students like you. The student who is standing here? He's so busy with volunteering that he told me to stand in his place, dude. That's strangely dutiful, I guess. 50,000 HL. Dress sword. Thirty thousand HL. Heavy axe. Going to defeat your subconscious? It, it'd be fast if you can find their hidden village, but it seems difficult. At least you feel more confident with your rival helping you out. That's not more confidence. Your heart's honest, Mal. Jeffrey stopped by earlier. He gave each of us residents a bribe and told us to take care of the young master. Evil never dies. Yeah, we're relieved Jeffrey didn't die. This is the strongest I've ever felt the desire to become stronger. He made me go dig up some traits. Right, that's the way it should be. By the way, the trauma resident that's usually in this spot is gone. Wonder where he went. It was more of those things like Sir Mao's father. I'll stay calm, yeah? That old man gave me something real nice, so yeah, I won't interfere. Something nice? Caterpillar, caterpillar jelly? Spiderweb cookies? Damn, Jeffrey, where's my bribe? So those are your favorites? You're quite the gourmet. Those sound nasty, though. Master Big Star and Salvator and like Salvatore, they're totally awesome. Mr. Champloo remains a mystery. But Princess is the real strange one. Can't tell if you're violent or nosy. Which one is it? I'm an untouchable killing machine. I hate heroes, but I guess some heroes are different from what I thought they were. Those words at the vault still echo. At the vault? Nothing, don't worry. Do they like me now? Say, all mousy. All humans... Are all humans meddlesome and weird like you and the princess? You demons have unique personalities too. Do you en wish to enter the depths? Evil Mind Vortex. Um, princess? What is it, Almaz? Pardon my abruptness, but why did you remember me? That really was abrupt. I'm sorry. I've been curious since you told me. Uh, I had never actually met you. Huh? But, you see, you still consoled me. What do you mean? I told you that I can't cry, right? I'm an ungrateful princess who can't even shed a tear. I heard the rumors. Not a single tear during the funeral. She doesn't even cry in her own room. She's not tough, just cold-blooded. The princess has some nerve not crying for her mother, the queen. 
she's such an unlovable princess. That's terrible. It's easy to judge by looking at the surface. But it's not like they looked into your heart. How would they know you weren't really... But that's it. Huh? That night, I couldn't fall asleep, so... I was wandering around the castle and heard the argument from the barracks. A hero must answer the call of the voiceless voices. Lady Sapphire is alone in her sadness. The princess grieves in her own ways. Look at her hair, I heard. That time? You were listening? It was just a coincidence. I just happened to notice that a lock of your beautiful hair had been cut short. It's exactly as you said. I cut off a lock of hair and secretly placed it inside my mother's coffin. <laughs> she had always praised my hair. Though, afterwards, my grandmother scolded me for it. The only ones who noticed the change in my hair were my father, grandmother, and you, Almas. That voice then, I've never forgotten. <laughs> Princess! Why are you crying? Are you going to cry for me? If it would make you happy, I'll cry for you as much as you want. So please, don't be sad anymore. You can ignore those heartless words. I'll make sure I erase them all. I will protect you for life. I, almost von Amandine Adamant, will die for you, Lady Sapphire. Almas, no you can't! Huh? If you were to die, I would be greatly saddened. Uh, why's that? Hmm. <sighs> I wonder why. I'm not exactly sure. What do you think? Don't ask me. I'm more confused about this than you are. Oh, my lady, watch this. Oh, it's a love scene like we read about in our study guides. Could it be possible they might do the high-level skill from the 48 expressions of affection? The kiss? Calm down. Don't get too panicky. Kyoko, you go get the camera. Asuka, you prepare for the interviews. Um, do you mind not mocking us? Huh? Enemies? We are the subconscious. Defeat us and become very strong. But don't forget about that one time. Oh, that one time. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. So these are my subconsciences. If I get rid of them, I'll become stronger, right? But they're acting strange, afraid of something. It's as if they are milk bottles nearing expiration. So what? It doesn't matter. It's my subconscious. I wouldn't know anyway. Let the subconscious subside. There's no need to hesitate. I will become stronger. Stronger than anyone. Stronger.
Here I go! Got it! White dragon can now be created. How is it, Mal? Are you stronger? Hmm, I feel slightly, somewhat maybe a little stronger, but it's nowhere near close to what I need. However, if I continue to beat them, I should become stronger, according to my calculations. Let me guess, Mr. Jeffrey told you? Oh, your subconscious seems to have dropped something. Is this a book? Oh, I have that comic too! I remember seeing it in Mal's room. Oh, let's see. What kind of comic is it? Damn it, Dad! You had to have done that on purpose! How many times must he break my game? How will I exact vengeance for my blood, sweat, tears, and four million hours? Hey there. Can I talk to you for a sec? Do you live in this house? Huh? Who are you? Ah, that face! That look! I've seen you before! I see, so it's finally Dad's turn. I thought you might be coming to defeat him soon. Oh, so you're the son of the Overlord. But you knew me just by looking at my face. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I will one day rule the Netherworld. I am devoted to various research. Of course, I did my research on you. I have everything that relates to you. Games, comics, you name it. <laughs> well, I'm honored. Now listen carefully. My dream is to become a great overlord who can one day fight a rival like you. And I will defeat him after a deadly battle, and then the evil world will prosper forever. But before that... Yes? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> a simple request, my little friend. How's this? Whoa! Do you always carry around paper and a marker? You're well prepared. All right, then. In return, I'll tell you where my dad is. Thank you. I'm sure this will be my last adventure. I would love to bathe in the glory. Last? As far as I know, your father is the strongest overlord. That's right. You've got a keen eye for power. Which means my task is over after this. I can finally welcome some rest. I see. So you're finally retiring. All right, then, I'll tell you my dad's weak points. I really want to teach my dad a lesson. I'll help you out. Oh? But in exchange, promise me. Here, come closer. And then... That's it. Got it? Is it a promise? All right, I promise. You're already a friend of mine, and friends never betray each other. <laughs> Friends, huh? Oh, do you like that? Who'd like that ever? Demons must relish solitude. Oh, is that so? They're oaths of a demon that I came up with. I will one day stand at the top of all demons. I see. Then good luck to you. You can do it. One day, you'll be a great overlord. Who is that, Mal? Didn't look like anyone I know. I don't know. You don't know? But wasn't that your own memory? Must have been a subconscious. I don't know. Could that have been... Wait, but could it be? Could it be what? Don't tease us. Just say it. Oh, sorry. That man, it might have been... You don't have to say it. I said it was a subconscious. We're supposed to get rid of him. We don't have time to chat. Hmm. That shadow, could it be? So it was he who cast this dark shadow into Mao's heart. Immortal Pill. of agony. 
There are various types of subconscious that suppress one's potential abilities within the heart. Weakness, prejudice, disbelief, and pride. Mao and his crew journeyed through the heart and with some cooperation cleared the subconscious obstacles one by one. But after a while they came to a realization. Subconsciouses are cautious and cowardly. They live in hidden corners of the heart that even Mao himself cannot find. Once they realized this, they decided to head towards the remote frontier. And thus, Mao and his crew finally arrived. The hidden village of the heart in the frontier, where the subconsciouses gather. This is it, right? My heart's secret village. This is a convenient thing to have. If we annihilate everyone in this hidden village, we can bring out more of Mao's potential powers, right? It sucks to let Mao get ahead of me, but it's a badass job to help a rival grow. So let's do this! If only this convenience can accompany Sir Mao's heart opening up, it'll kill two birds with one stone. Potential powers! I don't want to! I don't want to! I don't want to! I don't want to! My subconsciouses disobey me? I'm bringing my potential powers to their fullest glory! It's only proper that you willingly cooperate with me! Now die! Perish for me! Okay, I need the red one to go over there, the yellow one to go over there, the purple one.
Mushroom Bug can now be created. Feel overflowing power surging from the depths of my body! Oh, <laughs> wonderful! So this is what it feels like to release your potential! I feel every evil fiber of my being! I hope it's not just your imagination again. You are pretty quick to make assumptions, after all. Are you blind? Look at this! The super moves I wasn't able to use before are all available to me now! Oh, you're right! Cool! Now, it looks like you might be able to stand up against the DS gentleman. Indeed. It was time well spent, and it produced a good broad. Boom! <laughs> Pretty good, Mal. That's why you're my rival. <laughs> looks like I made you meddle in more of my work. You don't need to thank me. It's just volunteer work. It's all a piece of cake to me. Then it's a good thing I didn't thank you. But the way you adhere to your delinquent ways, when you're that persistent, it's almost admirable. Hmm? Now? Did you all hear that? I heard it all right, Princess. Still cynical in most ways, but it sounded like he complimented me. Maybe one of those subconsciouses we defeated made him more honest. Which might mean that Sir Mal's heart could be open now. No, it's too hard to tell. We've already had our hopes shattered too many times by speculating. What's a man who's gonna become a hero being so negative for? Let's go check it out! Miss Beryl's right. If there's a remote chance, we shouldn't miss it. But it's only a remote chance. Victory Muscle. Heart Vault. Hmm? What is it, Mal? Why'd you stop? Oh, there's someone over there. Isn't that a human? Wait a minute. That's Sir Orum, Superhero Orum. You mean, that super famous superhero? Yes! It's the superhero! I heard he had gone missing! Superhero? I can't believe it! The rarest of the rares! Give me your autograph, please! Wait a minute! Why is he inside Mal's heart? Where is the strongest overlord? It's not me! I'm just a lowly demon maniac! Where is the strongest overlord? Superhero, huh? What's wrong, Mal? Why the scary face? Are you scared? How disgusting! The things you find in your heart! You know something. But what's it have to do with Sir Aura? I would know. Where is the strongest overlord? He keeps saying the same thing. What's wrong with him? The strongest overlord can only mean one person. Mao's father, our reigning overlord. Strongest overlord! You're so annoying! Saying the same thing over and over. The strongest overlord is you! <laughs> What's with this guy? Mouse just the Overlord's son. He's a weirdo who gets excited about experiments. He's not even popular. He's no Overlord, <laughs> trust me on this one. She's right. If Sir Mao were a dangerous Overlord, I would have stabbed him in the back long ago. Princess, don't... don't dirty your hands. Let me do that for you. I thought you guys were trying to open up my heart. I'm going to seclude myself now. You're the strongest overlord. You! Alright, so they have 2,000 health. He has 5,000. 
There's a prism mage. Whatever that is.
Got him. Now that just leaves one dude left. Alright. <laughs> How do my powered up skills taste? Crazy, I must say. Even though he's in your heart, that superhero went flying off. Wow, you can beat the DS gentleman for sure now. Maybe even the Overlord. Wait, this is strange. The superhero's presence is still here. The strongest Overlord is no more. Don't tell me he gets to revive too. What an annoying hero! The strongest Overlord is... Oh. <sighs> Maybe the superhero is attached to his heart, like Sir Mao's father was. What happened here? What's he got to hold on to? A resident who doesn't pay rent needs to be kicked out! Wait, he revived, but it seems like he's completely lost the will to fight. I thought the superhero was more of a cool guy. This is kind of disappointing. The strongest Overlord is no more. Without the Overlord, I am... I am... I am a hero. Where is the next Overlord? Are there no more anywhere? Are there no strong Overlords? Where is the strongest Overlord? It looks like he's looking for the strongest Overlord, but Mouse Dad is somewhere around here, right? I heard that the superhero went to defeat the strongest Overlord and never returned. It seems that story is wrong. Where is the strongest Overlord? Dad. Now, why the gloomy face? It seems I can't trust others after all. Friends are useless to me. Huh? What's wrong now? The superhero has taught me a lesson. A trusting heart promises friends. They're all useless. Where do you think you're going? I no longer have any business here. I'm going home. Watching him makes me sick. You guys better pack it up and leave. Otherwise, I'll consider you parasites and stick my defenses on you. This is bad. Mao's heart has become suddenly hard. It's as hard as weak old bread. His heart was finally starting to be honest, too. What happened? Ever since he saw the superhero, he started acting strange. But what's the connection between Mao and the superhero? I haven't heard any rumors. There are games and comics and cartoons of the superhero in Mao's room, so I wonder if that has to do with it. Do you think this could somehow be related to his heart scar? The heart scar seems to be what darkens Mao's heart like a burnt crust that sticks to the bottom of the pot. Which means Sir Mao must have met Superhero Orum sometime in the past. Say, Hero, what's the real superhero like? Would he really hurt Mao's heart? The guy we just saw was pretty weird. Is the real one like that too? Sir Orem is super famous in the human world, and he's a legendary hero that everyone admires. He's the strongest, smartest, nicest, most competent, and even pretty funny hero ever. He's perfect in every way. He's mentioned as a top-class hero in our kingdom's annals as well, though he is a man from the distant past. He left the human world to defeat the strongest overlord, I believe it's been more than 200 years since then. But his many adventures are retold as legends, and he's even on the coins and bills of the kingdom's currency. I have all his games, cartoons, comics, novels, figures, even the diecast ones, and even some fan magazines. Wow, you're a fanatic. But even normal people know who the superhero is. That's how great of a man he was. But that superhero we saw would never be mistaken for a role model for badasses everywhere. The real Sir Orm is different. He's a man of courage and justice, and he beat many evil overlords and gods. Even the overlord was pretty different from the overlord inside his heart. No way could that be the real Sir Orm. But from Mal's point of view, that's how he appeared, right? 
Well, maybe. There's a problem. Why did the superhero reflect so badly in Sir Mao's eyes like that? Debating over the menu won't fill your stomachs. If you have time to think, then cook. You're young. Move forward. You're right, Master. This is fine for now. Some things only become clear when the time is just right. Just don't forget that when it's time, we are the only ones who will be there to support Mao. Today's tangents, Meow and Sis. <laughs> the superhero is of little concern. He may have been strong, but what can one do when they cease to exist? I only obey my evil mind and walk forward down my own path. We are going to attack the senior classrooms. We need to go repay that Lady of the Dias gentleman. But we still don't know where they are. That is nothing to worry about. I thought this might happen, so I've discovered their location. Oh, it's amazing how no one knows where they are, yet you were able to find them. So, where are they? Directly above us. Above? Oh, I see. The classrooms flew down here. Yes, and they will land shortly. Oh, come on! I was joking! They most likely use the class bells to time their raids. That way they can disappear right after a fight. I never thought of that. <laughs> their methods are more advanced than regular badasses. Legend has it, seniors were originally a group of super honor students. Now that they're delinquents, this won't be easy. Don't forget that there are brainwashed freshmen being held in their classrooms. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Go ahead and forget them. Now that I've reached my potential, I don't need servants. As long as I have this evil power and brain, the day I beat up my dad quickly approaches. <laughs> he seems to be in a good mood, but I know there has to be a pitfall just waiting for us. All right. So I think I'm going to save and we'll continue this next time. So, uh, thanks for watching and see you all then. Bye.